Hello, Capricorn. How are you guys doing? This will be a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, let's get to the message. Spirit of love, light, truth, and clarity. What messages do you have for the sign of Capricorn? What messages do you have for the sign of Capricorn? Okay, so in the recent past, you have the emperor. So establishing your stability. It's like, uh, I'm, what I'm getting is trying to get to, it's like you guys were being logical. It's like practical. Um, getting to a place, it's like you guys didn't want to be in like la la land. It's like you want to be practical about your approach to life. Um, because you wanted to ground yourself. You wanted to make sure that you guys established um, yourself um, in a grounded um, way. You wanted to make sure that you were secure. You guys were tired of being like ungrounded. Okay. I'll just say that you guys wanted to make sure that you were safe and secure so you had to make sure that you approached life in a logical manner. Um, so you guys were being stern. Um, very mature too. And understanding. It's like people were seeking you guys out for advice and they still do. Because you're even more understanding in this moment. Because of what you've been through in the past. What people have put you through, you guys have learned a lot of lessons. So you're able to give people a lot of advice to help guide them along their journey. Some of you guys, it's like you're changing up your career. Some of you guys are seeking entrepreneurship. You want to become your own boss. Either way, you're grounding yourself. And what you're building on is going to last. It's not something that's going to crumble as it did in the past. And that's what you learned. You learned to build a stable foundation for yourself. Here in the present moment, your present situation, you guys are over at discontent um, with um, it's, it's, what I'm really getting is like your love life. But there's this offer that's coming in out the blue for you guys. It's like, don't give up because it's some someone coming in out the blue the person that you're gonna end up with they haven't showed up yet but for them to be for this to be showing up in your present moment that means that their that energy this person is about to show up really soon when you least expect it but you're not satisfied with um, the love offers that are being presented to you. You guys are just over it. You're done. Some of you guys, it's like, um, even with your friendships, it's like family members, friendships, people have let you down in general. And it's just like, you guys are just disappointed 
it's like you're over it. You got your cell phone put to the side because it's just like, you feel like like you check up on people. It's like, but who check ups? Who check up? Who check ups on you? Um, it's disappointing. You're disappointed. You're not content. You're dissatisfied with the people in your life at this moment. You're disappointed in their behavior. It's like you've been there for them. You know that you are a genuine, um, caring person and you deserve better than this. You're building a, like you're putting up a wall. You don't fully have a wall up. You're still, there's still an opening. And this love offer is coming in before you fully close yourself off. Because you're at this point where you're ready to close yourself off and isolate yourself because you are just disappointed with the way you've been treated. You're trying to remain optimistic. But there's someone coming in for you guys that's going to change your outlook on things and they're just going to brighten up your world and they're going to be your saving grace they're going to help you through this hard time your obstacle and your challenge is your friends the company that you keep. They only want to be there for you when things are good. But when things are bad, when things are bad, who's there? Look. Things are good. You have people there for you. There's people there. But look. You're by yourself. You're by yourself, the phone, no one's calling to check up on you. You're over it. You're disappointed and you're wondering like, what the fuck? Like, are these really the type of friends I have? I mean, I'm really picking up like your friends. Some of you guys, it may be family. Some of you guys, it's, you're going to end up meeting a new, like you're attracting new friends. Some of you guys, it's a new love coming in for you. But look, when you're down and you're out, where are your friends? What about your friends? That TLC song, what about your friends? How's it go? What about your friends? Oh, I can't even. It's like the you guys need to listen to that song. It's like when things are good, they're right there. They're celebrating with you. But true friends, they're by your side, wet through the thick and thin. If your friends don't want to hear about your bad times as much as your good times, if they're telling you to shut up and get over it, those are not your friends. But yet you sit and you listen to them when things are not going well for them. They want to be there to celebrate. They want to be there to, you know, drink and pop champagne. But when you're working, you're struggling to get the champagne. They don't want anything to do with that part. That's your obstacle. Is that you need to be mindful of the company that you keep. You need to be mindful of the company that you keep. And that is the lesson that you are being called to learn in this current moment.
So both of these cards popped up. What do you need to release is some sneaky, deceitful people around you. Obviously, there are some people that have betrayed you, betrayed your trust. They took what they could get and then they left. You feel betrayed, you feel used. What energy left you feeling used, betrayed, hurt? This is the energy you need to leave in the past. You need to release. Your advice from spirit is to find people that want to flourish with you, that want to see you grow, that want to work with you, that want to grow with you, that want to put in the effort towards your growth, your stability. Team players. These are the people that you want in your life. Not just the people that want to celebrate, drink, smoke, have a good time, party, but the people that want to work by your side and see you flourish, grow, that when you're having a bad day, they'll sit on the phone and listen to you cry. They won't say, I don't have time for this, but they'll sit there no matter how many hours it takes They'll sit on the other end of that phone and listen to you because they know that you need someone to be there for you so that you can get through this hard time. People that you feel safe to be vulnerable with, that's your, that's your advice because you, you've been entertaining the wrong group of people. And that's your lesson. That's your lesson is I'm getting materialistic, really. You guys have been, it's like this period that you guys have been going through. You've been seeking stability, which is great. But be mindful not to become materialistic. Because you don't want to attract the wrong energy. And obviously, you guys did. Because there were people showing up for the good times. And when you guys were going through these hardships, there was no one there for you. But you guys are about to realize it's better to have one person than a bunch of people that didn't have your best interest at heart. What you don't see coming is the Ace of Pentacles, a new abundant beginning. Whatever you guys are working towards, you guys have your finances. It's like whatever you guys are going through is about to be a thing of the past um, because what you don't see coming is abundance. And I'm not talking about fantasy. The pinnacles is something you can bank on in the actual 3D, what, 5D, in reality. Whenever you see pinnacles, this is something that is manifesting in, the, in reality. So whenever I see the ace of pinnacles, this is a beginning, something that is about to happen in your reality something you can bank on in reality, your finances, a career, a new, a new job. So if you guys want a new job, you're tired of being at the same job, you guys are over it because 
has been pettiness at your job. You guys are looking for a new career change. You guys are looking for something to express yourself, um, doing something that you love. You want to be around people that support you, uplift you. You guys are tired of the pettiness at your job. Um, it's been people trying to sabotage you. You guys are stepping into a new beginning that is going to lead to a lot of abundance, happiness, stability, where you can flourish. You feel free to be who you truly, authentically were born to be. You're being guided on your true path, your purpose in life. Where people celebrate you, the universe is guiding you towards your true path. And this is happening in your reality, the reality. This world, not fantasy. This is not a fantasy. The Pentacles, this is a new beginning for you, Capricorn. If you guys are looking for a relationship, a new beginning, this is a solid, stable relationship. One that you can depend on, someone that you can trust. This is someone that will be committed to you, someone that is stable financially stable, someone that is wealthy, you will also, you are coming into your own wealth as well. This is a new beginning that you can celebrate. This is what you don't see coming. The best ace this is better than the Ace of Cups because this is for sure going to happen for you. future within the next three to six months you guys have the ten of wands so you guys the thing is is that you guys will be feeling overburdened you guys will be taking on a lot feeling overburdened what you guys are feeling overburdened by, let's see. Let's get one more. Well, you guys also have the Nine of Pentacles, which is awesome because that means you guys are putting in a lot of effort towards something. The Four of Swords also wanted to come out. So it's like, also, what you're being advised. In the hidden position is the two of wands. Um, we'll get to this. Because this is basically showing that you guys, whatever you guys are manifesting at this time is actually about to happen for you guys. Um, you're being advised because you guys basically is showing um, your most likely outcome because within the three within three to six months you guys will be taking on a lot of work whatever you're doing is it, you're taking on a lot i'm getting that you guys are working on something some of you guys are changing your career you're going back to school but you're going to be in a supportive environment people that want to see you grow, people that support you, you're going to love what you're doing. But at the same point, you will be overwhelmed because you're taking on a lot. I'm not getting that it's going to be um, a bad thing. 
you're just being advised to seek help where you can. Don't take on everything because you guys have a tendency not to ask for help. But there is help available to you because you need rest. You, you will, this is the thing is that you need rest because you're going to end up burning yourself out by taking on too much. Your efforts, this is the thing is that your efforts are going to pay off. You guys are going to find yourself eventually. Because within the next three to six months, there's going to be a lot of work that you guys are going to be taking on and your efforts will pay off because you guys are going to find yourself at this point where it's like you're, you guys are not going to have to work. You guys are barely going to be working and it's like money is just going to be rolling into you guys. You guys are going to have options as well, an option to make. Some of you guys will be deciding whether to relocate, whether to stay um, in a particular state, some of you guys in a particular country, or to relocate. But your advice is to not stress yourself out. Where you're ultimately you're gonna find yourself in a great position, not having to overwork. It's like you're gonna be in this relaxed state, abundant. Your efforts will pay off. You will be rewarded for your efforts. You will find yourself in a great position. Oh, la, 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 la. let's see. Um, I mean, this was supposed to be a love read, but this is all finances for you guys. So let me see. Get a oracle message. This is what wanted to come out. So, magician in the mirror. So, you guys are currently at this point where you guys have the ability to manifest manifest exactly what you want. Um. Whatever you desire, you guys have the the ability to manifest exactly what you want. Door to romance. There is, um, for whoever is looking for love, there is romance brewing for you guys. There is a relationship coming in for you guys. A solid, stable relationship coming in for you guys. Someone who will amaze you. Yeah, there we go. Man ho holding a heart, someone very attractive as well. Someone very attractive. Some of you guys may be 33. This person may be 45. There will be an age difference, but this person is like very youthful, very like um, they take care of their um, themselves as well. They're very wise. You guys are kindred spirits as well. Yin and yang. Um, some of you guys like um, you guys are earth signs. So it's like you guys are earth. They may be air. There is like an opposite. But you guys balance each other out. And it's like, I'm getting that like this person, it's like you would think that this person, like they come across, you would think that this person date, dates around a lot, but this person um, doesn't. 
they actually, it's like, <laughs> like they've actually been heartbroken before. They dealt with like toxic people in the past and um, attachment. Yeah, it's like they dealt with toxic people in the past. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they dealt with toxic people in the past. And um, this is the message that I'm getting. When you come across this person, because it's like when you see them, it's like they're very attractive. So it's like you would think that this person is like, it's, you would think um, that they are like this player, but it's, they're not. They want to make sure um, that you're who you say you are because of how they've been hurt in the past. They dealt with a toxic person in the past, someone who um, deceived them. They wore this mask, but that's because this person had a lot of issues. They were insecure. They don't want to be hurt like that because they wanted to end up with, like they wanted a long-term relationship. This person, like they want commitment. They're looking for commitment. This person has like kept their heart locked up. Like they don't date around. They're very serious. Very intelligent as well. But you guys, it's like you guys have to start putting yourself out there. You can't lock yourself away in your comfort zone. So, yeah, you're being advised to put yourself out there because there is this romance brewing for you guys. Um, this person is deeper than they appear. But there's like your finances, the overall message, Things overall for you guys is looking great. Push yourself out there. Don't be afraid because the universe has your back, Capricorn. I know that you guys have dealt with like some toxic energies, some people that should have had your back, should have been there for you. It was for you to learn. It was a lesson for you to learn. Don't allow yourself to fall into this victimhood. Take your power back and move forward. I'm going to leave it there. This is the message that I have for you. If this reading resonates, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. Thank you.